Lael Collins is officially a member of the Cincinnati Bengals, and you're going to hear from him because he met with the media for the first time on Wednesday. Hi again, everybody. I'm James Rapine of allbengals.com and Cincinnati Bengals Talk, and that's right, it's Lael. Not Lael or Lael, like I was saying, the L, which um, I got to be honest, I got wrong. A lot of people got wrong, thanks to the great Dan Horde for asking Lael what his first name was. So now we can all say it right. Lael Collins is going to block for Joe Burrow at right tackle. Lael Collins is uh, why you're really excited probably about the Bengals' chances of doing big things in 2022. And so over the next few minutes, you're going to hear from Zach Taylor. You're going to hear from Lael Collins and get uh, some thoughts from them on, on why this is such a good fit. Let's start with Zach Taylor. On Joe Burrow, in Burrow's impact in this free agent process, because they've added three new linemen, they've added Hayden Hurst, they've added all these pieces that should help Joe Burrow's life, make Joe Burrow's life easier. Here's Zach Taylor on Burrow and how he's impacted things. He's been great. You know, Joe's Joe's message to me really has been, what can I do to help during the process? Um, and, and so, again, we utilize him in every way we can because that's – that's obviously a big selling point for us is we've got a quarterback that um, is a tremendous player and, and has helped us do a lot of things and players like being around him. Um, so, so Joe's done a great job coming to the dinners, you know, hosting some of the players. Uh, those are, those are kind of his ideas to get guys over to his place and um, help do what he can do on his end, bringing those guys close together so they can see kind of the relationships that the guys have on the team. And um, we certainly appreciate that. And he's just been all in on whatever he can do to help. Were you surprised when he showed up and, and what it looked like sweats to to the dinner, like Daffy Duck shirt or whatever it was. I, I, I stopped being surprised by anything that Joe wears, you know, in any occasion. So uh, Joe's Joe man, and he can pull off anything. The other man that had a huge impact specifically on getting Lael Collins to Cincinnati, bringing him to the Bengals, is Frank Pollock, the Bengals offensive line coach. He coached Collins uh, for three years in Dallas as a member of the Dallas Cowboys coaching staff from 2015 to 2017. So naturally, I had to ask Lael what impact Frank had on not just him signing in Cincinnati, but entertaining the idea of coming to the Bengals in free agency. It was a no-burner. Um, you know, just opportunity uh, presented itself to, to get back and, and work with Coach Frank. Uh, just... I've been missing him since he left. Um, and I mean, he's just a, he's a great coach. Uh, just, just very detailed in everything that he asked for as a pro. Um, you know, I know the type of coach, I know the type of things he's looking for as players. And, uh, you know, I just look forward to going there and, and, and really contributing in a big way and just doing my job and, and just helping some of these young guys, you know, continue to develop and grow as, as pros. And then what's a Friday like at, at Joe Burrow's house? Man, it's it's really just chill, man. You know, just chill, talking football with the guys, um, and just being able to really like uh, just kind of get a sense of like, you know, what this locker room is like. Um, starting with him, you know, I mean, obviously he's the leader of the team, um, quarterback, and you know, just you know, obviously him playing down at LSU uh, is something special to me as well. So, you know, it's it's big just to be able to kind of you know, spend some time with him and, and, and have some camaraderie. Another thing that stood out to me during this news conference with Lyle Collins was how bullish he is on the Bengals and bullish he is on the talent on this roster from Joe Burrow to Jamar Chase to the defense. He talked about it multiple times and it almost sounded like something Zach Taylor had said in, in has said multiple times, which is how they're here to compete for championships and win championships. And that's their ultimate goal. We've heard Joe Burrow say it, Lyle Collins, the newest Bengal. Well, he said it on Wednesday. I'm just looking forward to really just, uh, you know, giving, giving the Bengals and Mr. Brown and everybody the return on their investment in a big way. So, you know, we, you know, the only, the only, the only goal is to win, win championships. And I say that with, with an S, you know, with a strong S because, you know, I, I want to win championships with this team. So, this is definitely the team to do it. Anything, anything that's that's not 
orange and 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 don't wear that don't have those stripes on them you know when, when it comes game day then yeah, at the end of the day if you're in the way you got to get moved out the way so that's just the bottom line um and doesn't matter who who it is don't matter where we at don't matter what time we play that's the mindset each and every week for me collins is obviously a huge addition to the offensive line room huge addition to the team but what does he do best? Dave Lapham asked Collins that exact question. You know, I was scheduled to uh, to go eat dinner with Coach Frank and uh, Coach Taylor, but I just kind of told him, you know, I wasn't really there for to be wanting to dine. You know, I, I wanted to, you know, just kind of get this thing done. And, you know, I was able to go spend time with those guys, Joe and, and the rest of the guys. And, you know, for me, um, that that really put, put it over the top. That really – stamped it that really showed me you know this is where i want to be you know these guys i want to be around and um you know that 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 moment was probably the biggest moment you know it was special because uh you know i was in the mall had my mask on and i thought you know hey i was gonna be able to just kind of just go in different stores and and just you know chill i get a bite to eat things like that but they still saw the big fella and uh, and i was just like hey and, and uh you know asked me were, were, were we were we close yet or were we done? And I was just kind of like, hey, we, we're getting there. We're getting there. You know, the whole time I was very optimistic that we was going to get it done. So, you know, I was just really just trying to get a feel for my new home. I, very, I was like I said, I was very optimistic that we was going to get it done. So, and we did. And, and you know, I'm, I couldn't be more happier. The weekend was a whirlwind, right? When Lyle Collins was visiting Thursday night, he landed in Cincinnati and he was – here we were covering it on Cincinnati Bengals Talk and allbengals.com, and it was like, man, what's going on? Is he going to get something done? Is it going to happen? Well, here's Collins on the moment he realized that he wanted to be in Cincinnati and how optimistic he was during everything that went on on Saturday when things got to be, well, up in the air, at least on the outside, about him being optimistic that something was going to get done. What I do best is I impose my will each and every play. You know, whether it's run, whether it's pass, you know, at the end of the day, whoever I'm going up against, they're going to feel me. And, um, you know, it's going to be a long day for them. And, and that's just that's just the mindset that I that I carry. And that's just the way that I play this game. And, you know, that's, that's the only way I know. And having a, a great offensive line coach that, you know, that, that he stands on that as well, uh, it makes it even better. He's a fun coach to want to play for. Uh, he, gets, he brings the best out of you. He's going to make sure you work and you're ready to go. And, and that's, that's just that's just special about him. It's an exciting time for the Bengals. Certainly an exciting time for Joe Burrow, for Jamar Chase, for Joe Mixon, for Frank Pollock, for Zach Taylor. And, well, an exciting time for you. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And make sure you tell all of your friends about Cincinnati Bengals Talk because we are going full steam ahead if you missed our What's Next video. Make sure you check that out. And we have a ton coming your way as we slowly start to pivot to the draft. The draft, about five weeks away. So we can't wait for that. The Bengals have the 31st overall selection. We'll start to look at that and so much more in the coming days and weeks. Until then, for Andrew Fox Miller, I'm James Erpine, signing off for now right here on CBT, Cincinnati Bengals Talk.